My name's Stuart Moore. I've been employed here as the Southport Golf Club Core Superintendent for something like 21 years now. My role here on a daily basis is purely to look after the golf course, all of the golf course operations, a ground staff team of approximately 11 guys, and all the machinery that we use on a daily basis to take care of that golf course. We've been using John Deere equipment here for approximately 20 odd years. They've been a great team to work with. Chesterfield is a local establishment that we've been purchasing from. Our relationship with Chesterfield has gone back through that entire journey, that 20 years I spoke of earlier, and their sales and service, the quality of machinery, and what we're trying to achieve here at Southport, they've offered us nothing but excellence in sales service and backup, which is really important to me. We've um, dabbled a little bit with um, noise pollution issues here at Southport. We're quite a built up golf course. Um, again, we're on 47 hectares and we're built up right around our perimeter. So what it means is we've got to come up with options that are going to appease the membership, not wake up the neighbours, but allow us to still get the job done very early, in fact early enough to beat the first guys playing of the morning. So John Deere have offered us a machine called a John Deere 2500E greens mower, which is an electrically operated greens mower with a diesel motor with a 48 volt alternator. Now what that allows the machine to do is cut in idle, which means it's making not a lot of noise but the clip, the quality of cut, is maintained as if that machine was running like a normal machine under full revs. This is where the John Deere machine is working over and above the rest of the other manufacturers that are out there on the market, which have tried to copy or emulate that particular model, but they can't get the noise restriction down and yet maintain a perfect clip rate, in other words, quality of cut, whereas John Deere, working through Chesterfield here in Queensland have been able to give us both options, mowing at a very low noise emission but maintaining quality of cut because of the design of that 2500E John Deere greens mower. Our relationship with Chesterfield uh, and the advantage that we seek with them is the, the golf and turf experience that you have at Chesterfield itself. That's priceless, you know, I can make a phone call and talk about a specific requirement the people on the ground at Chesterfield know what the right answer is and they know what the right answer is immediately. We're not having to wait, they're not having to call you back, they're not having to go to somebody else and we'll call you back in 24 hours. They know the answer and I don't have any issues with any of their after sales service at all, it's been nothing but fantastic. We find at Chesterfield not only is the relationship between the people and us fantastic in terms of knowing what we want, it's in the shelf. The turnaround's fantastic. They stock the parts that are a common part that are a high turnover part, whether it's clutches, high wearing issues, parts, hydraulics and all that sort of stuff. Blades, cylinders, all the major elements that you know are going to be consumable, they're there. The rep lives on the Gold Coast. He can pick it up, drop it off to me the next morning. That's priceless. But carrying and having the right knowledge to carry the correct part at Chesterfield, that's something else that's a major benefit to us and, and Chesterfield offers that service you know, all year round. Building a relationship with the machinery supply company it can be very difficult. The Southport Golf Club has worked very, very long and hard in finding a supplier that can service the needs of the membership. I will certainly making sure that the Southport Golf Club's relationship with Chesterfield Australia and John Deere in general will continue for many years to come, whether I'm here as a superintendent or whether someone else uh, comes along and takes my, my role here at Southport because it's more about Southport and Chesterfield, not Stuart and Chesterfield, and I think that's you know, 20 years in the making.